Alrighty guys, welcome back to Road to Top 10 in EA Sports UFC 3. This is episode 6. Starting things off, we'll be using Junior Dos Santos in the heavyweight division and I'm facing Kimbo Slice. This is a player that I'm quite familiar with. Um, against this guy, the biggest thing to watch out for, I remember vividly, is his lean straights. Like he would throw a combination and then lean and throw it straight at you as you're trying to come in to retaliate. So. We're gonna have to keep that in mind. Kimbo Slice is very powerful in this weight class, but again, I'm using JDS. We're gonna be doing some clean work, clean striking, clean boxing. Um, I'm not gonna limit it to just boxing. That's not my intention. I'm gonna kick as well. Just, uh, just try to do some clean work today. So let's see what happens. JDS. I'm gonna touch gloves. Let's go. See that? Already. Mm -hmm. He loves that lean straight. So we have to be very careful with that. And just poke at him. Poke with the jab. Poke with a shot to the body. Try to be faster than him. Ooh, that was that was a clean shot. I lunged into that body shot right there. That was good. Let's play some. Ooh, that was good. Some Tom and Jerry, people. Wasn't able to block after I ripped to the body right there. For some reason he was able to land that jab straight. I do apologize that we're keeping the talking to a minimum. But I'm trying not to make any mistakes in this fight. Mm. Pull that one. Now he's using the moving slips. Those are dangerous too. Rocked. Caught me with one. Got him. That was a good round. That was a good round. If if this play session can go just like that, you know, really focused, keeping everything clean. If, if I can do that today, I'm going to be a happy dude. No touch. That's okay. Damn, shooting takedowns with Kimbo Slice. <laughs> That's something you never thought you'd see. Got him. Drop. That was a nice hook right there as he was going for the uppercut. Right now, he's 
Got him again. And the fight is over. Woo! That was a rare overhand shot for me. I usually don't throw that shot. <laughs> but um, rip that overhand, follow with the left hook. One more left hook, no, one uppercut. It was a rear uppercut. Got a clean KO off of that. I really enjoyed that right there. That was that was good. That was a good work with JDS. Maintained uh, movement, outside fighting. Just overall, definitely the kind of fight that I like to get. Not this, you know, thing where we're rocking each other back and forth. You know, I'm not looking for fight of the night. I'm looking for good performance. You know what I mean? All right, let's see if we can replicate that in the next few fights. I think I'm going to do three fights today in total. I'm not sure. It all depends on how it goes. But, um, all right, be right back with the next one. Marlon Marais versus Thomas Almeida in the bantamweight division. This is a championship fight. This is going to be good, man. This one's going to be good. I love this matchup right here. I was kind of nervous when I was picking Marlon. I thought I was going to run into like a, a TJ Dillashaw or a Cody Garbrandt style character. But I, I like this matchup. I really do. I feel like we're evenly matched. Especially when it comes to striking. So let's do it. And he starts things off with the, with the switch. He's also leaning. See it. Got to be careful with that. <laughs> Almeida is faster. I'm noticing that right now. So, damn. We're going to need to have our timing as crisp as possible right here. This is not good. This is not good at all. on a sec man getting rocked like that is clean good shot Good shot. This man is doing some good work. Marias is like the bantamweight Jose Aldo. Very similar. Same stance, same movement style. A lot of the same strikes. So that's how I try to use them. Uh-oh. No. Yes. Yes. Okay. That was a good round. That was his round. He definitely won the round. I give him that. But... We're going to slowly start picking things up. I'm also trying to keep in mind the fact that it is a championship fight. Five rounds. Um, in the five-round fight, you don't want to get into the later rounds with low stamina. You don't want to do that. You know, so I'm 
make sure I keep that stamina high. Interestingly though, they're showing most of the highlights being shown right now are my highlights. So it's like, I'm not sure. Is it possible that I won that round? I don't know. But we'll see. I'll tell you guys right now, my goal is to finish this fight. That's what I'm trying to do. We'll see if we can do that. Try to be a little bit more active with the shots. Ah! Let's not get hit with that slip straight. That is not good. Elbow, elbow. I like it. Damn. This man is throwing some nice combos here. Oh, he caught that one again. So he's just going to catch all my teeps, huh? Oh. Got him. I stopped that. I denied that. Got him. I tell you guys again, I love blocking body kicks. Like, actually blocking them. I don't like catching them. When you block them, I mean, look at that. That was a free hook from blocking a kick. Absolutely love that. And still, I feel like we don't see enough of it. Got him. Woo. Only a matter of time now, it seems. He's getting rocked left and right. This fight's done. This is over. Yeah, baby. Yes, yes, yes. I am in such a calm mood right now, man. Like, I need to try to figure out how to get to this place every single time I play this game place where I'm just calm and you know no matter what's happening I'm just I'm making reads and just hyper focused on what's happening and what that results in is a less animated version of me you know more just a lot more quiet hopefully you guys don't find it boring but I'll try to make it as entertaining as I, as I possibly can but um we'll get one more fight people be right back We are using Kylan Curran in the women's strawweight division championship fight. We won the belt in the last fight. Time to defend the belt. Let's do it. Let us do it. Jessica Andraj. <laughs> Expect some serious pressure right here. This is a dude I'm familiar with. All right. Such a beautiful character she is, man. Using Kylan is so fun. I love the movement. Look at these shots. I 
Again, shout out to Heem the Dream for introducing me to this character. I like the way this is going so far. Use that push. The way he's fighting now is exactly how he should be fighting. I love this. I love this. Relentless pressure on this man. You gotta match it. We have to match it. Match the aggression. Uh oh. Uh oh. We don't want that. Man, my block is just getting destroyed. <laughs> this round feels like it's going on forever, man. Oh no. No, 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 no. Hey man. Can you do me a favor, bro, and stop catching my teeps? Can you like can you like oh <laughs> There you go, return. Can you not catch my teeps, man? Can you just not catch the teeps? Like, just let the teep hit you. Let it send you flying. And then, you know, you and I will be best buddies. Just don't don't catch the teep. Just come on. Let's make a deal. Don't catch the teeps. That's how I get rocked. A lot of times when they catch the teep, I think they're going to go for a takedown. And I try to deny the takedown. And, and I get blasted in the face. Uh, what's going on? Hello? Hello, hello, EA Sports UFC 3, what are you doing? Do not lag out. Do not disconnect. Don't do it to me. This is a good fight. There you go. There you go. Touch it up, buddy. Great job in round one. There you go. You're not catching him. Thank you. Promise he is trying to catch them. <laughs> oh, 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 I launched the wrong way. God damn. Okay, okay, slow down. Ah, man, that was the wrong way. Supposed to launch to the outside of it. Ugh. Not just that, I launched with my block down. God damn. Oh my god. This is the beginning of the end, people. Look at my head. We are facing the female version of Mike Tyson. And I am getting clubbered right now. Damn, man. A single shot's making my head blink now. God damn. Come on. Come on. I 
I need to s not try to lunge that overhand. Maybe duck it? Ducking it will be a much better option. Or that. Lean back, uppercut. I just don't know if the lean is gonna be, is gonna take my head far enough to uh, evade it. Oh no. Thought he was gonna throw it right there. See that? That lean back uppercut. I don't know. That was dangerous because now he's also throwing jab straights at my head. But he's also ending. It's like he's he's either ending his shots with the with a hook or with the uppercut. I mean, with the overhand. He's not throwing a lot of uppercuts. That's what I'm noticing. So, maybe ducking down. D ducking down takes care of the overhand and the hooks. Uh-oh. No, no. He's throwing uppercuts. All right. Him. There we go. Oh, is that it? Oh my god. Are you kidding me right? Oh my god. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Wow, dude, I did not even mean the circle with the shot, but it just worked out. Look at this circle with the shot and caught him as he was leaning. I swear I did not circle on purpose. Like, I just, my finger just did it, and I circled into the left hook. I was able to drop him, and that was enough to finish the fight. Oh, man, that, that was a comeback. I was taking so much damage, getting rocked left and right. And Kylan Curran, she does it once again, people. Oh my god, what a session. I love this one so much. Can I please get a like on that comeback? Can I get a like on that comeback? Wow. All right, that is it. That is it for episode 6 of my Road to Top 10 in EA Sports UFC 3. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later with a brand new video. Stay safe.